Something has been nibbling on my rose bush. I'm not sure exactly what has been affecting it, so let's see if we can figure it out together. As you can see here, there are holes on several of the leaves. I'm just looking at the underside of the leaves to see if I see any bugs or aphids. We've had rain the last several days, so maybe that washed away any critters that would have been chewing on them. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I see a bug. Is that an aphid? I see a little tiny green bug. Yep, that's an aphid. Okay, so at least we know what's affecting them. Let me see if I can find any more and I'll try to squish them all. Sight, oh, here's another one. I don't have the best eyesight in the world, but I think those are aphids. At least I think that's an aphid. Squish them all. Squish any ones I find. Oh man, this leaf is covered. You see all those? All those little green bugs? I think that's probably what's been chewing on this rose leaf. I'm gonna go through and just squish them all with my finger. Oh man, there's a lot on this. They seem to be bothering the new growth the most. Oh, there's a bunch of them on this little patch of leaves, too. See, from the top side, you can't see them. But then when you flip them over, look at all those. I see a bunch of little baby ones crawling around, too. Okay, this plant is completely covered. I need to buy some spray today. You can really see them all crawling around there. There's a flower bud here, and I think they are completely attacking that. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go inside and get some soapy water and have something to dip my fingers in. I was Googling online and some people use Dawn dish soap diluted in some water as a solution to spray on aphids. I don't have any Dawn dish soap, but I do have some Castile soap from Dr. Bronner's. I already have some of this mixed into a bottle that we use as just a household cleaning solution. It's just a bottle that we have um, repurposed for the Castile soap. So I'm gonna use this, spray it on the leaves, let it sit for a little bit, and then I'll wash it off. I'm gonna try to spray this on the leaves and hopefully, hopefully that takes care of the aphids. I also brought out a small bowl of soapy water just to dip my fingers in after I squish all the bugs so that if there's any I missed uh, squishing, hopefully that will take care of. But this thing is pretty well covered. There's quite a lot and I see a lot crawling around the surface in the mulch down below as well. So I'm gonna spray around the mulch as well. So I'm just gonna spray this solution all over and hopefully that takes care of them. I'm also gonna get in here and spray the underside of the leaves. because That's where I've been seeing them the most on any buds that are here as well. Maybe they're actually rose slugs, not aphids. Again, I don't have the best eyesight, but I can tell that that is a worm or a slug and not an aphid. Well, let's just... <laughs> He's slimy! The rose I've been treating is this first rose. This is the Earth Angel Rose from Heirloom Roses. While we're here, I'm going to check out these other roses to make sure I don't see any signs of bugs on them as well. Side note though, the gardenia is putting on a lot of new growth and looks really good. 
My David Austin Rose Jude the Obscure has several bugs. My little helper's spraying this one off for me. I haven't seen any signs of anything on the other bushes, but I think I'll still go to the store and buy some stronger spray and go ahead and treat. So this rose bush we transferred from my mom's house. It was one that she didn't want anymore. And some of these stems are getting kind of soggy and dying from the transplant shock, I guess. So I'm gonna come in here and just cut off any of these brown limbs and um, the dead leaves here. <laughs> Clean it up a little bit. Here's the after. We have a pile of clippings there. I think that looks a lot better. Again, this is my first time growing roses, so I'm not an expert by any means, but I think that looks this a lot healthier. Right here. Oh, careful, honey. Watch the thorns. I'm not an expert by any means, but I think that looks a lot better. Well, it looks like we may have aphids and rose slugs attacking this poor rose bush. So hopefully we can take care of them and it won't suffer any more damage. Um, I think I got most of them all squished off that I could find and I sprayed it real good. I'm going to come in with some water and hose it down in about an hour. Hopefully that solution helps out our roses. And I'm also going to try to maybe go find some neem oil or some other spray. I'll see what my store has and um, spray them with something a little stronger. If you have any tips on how to get rid of uh, rose slugs or aphids, leave them in the comments below because I don't want my roses to suffer any more damage. Thanks for hanging out with me today and hopefully your roses aren't getting eaten by bugs. <laughs> Bye y'all.